President Bola Tinubu has assented to the electricity bill, which was passed in July 2022 and seeking to repeal the Electricity and Power Sector Reform Act of 2005 and thus becoming the Electricity Act. The Act now consolidates all legislations dealing with the electricity supply industry to provide a credible and ideal institutional framework to guide the post-privatization phase of the Nigerian electricity supply industry and encourage the private sector investment. The primary aim of the bill, has stated it's in its first session, is to create a comprehensive legal and institutional framework to guide the Nigerian electricity supply industry. It also aims to demonopolize the generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity at the national level to empower states, companies, individuals to generate, transmit, and distribute electricity. Yesterday, and among you here, you have. Uh, The pension report as the members of the judiciary or retired members of the judiciary have signed into law the new age of retirement. Equally, you mentioned electricity, power generation. and back upon by state government. The bill has been signed. That's a demolition of power. That should be a contribution to the development and progress that we are looking for. To discuss the latest action by President Tinubu, we now have a public affairs analyst, Wisdom Chap Jumbo, uh, joining us to make sense of this. Good evening, Jumbo. Thank you for joining us. Yes, good evening. Thank you. Thank you. All right, then, let's get straight to the crux of the matter. President Bola Tinubu, as you already know, has repelled the Electricity and Power Sector Reform Act of 2005 and has given yeah. assent to the Electricity Bill, which was passed in July 2002. But just straight to it, I'd like to ask you, what exactly is your thoughts on this development? Well, um, I, I think it's a welcome development and um, very good for the sector. It's long time coming. Uh, what the amendment that happened um, some time ago on the Constitution was a high level one, where we first needed to add, amend the Constitution to allow states, I mean, to decentralize it to states to be able to transmit. Uh, and now this uh, a law signed by President Tunumbu furthermore gives more framework uh, to how the amendment to operate and what the sector will do. So I think it's, in, it's a very good development for the sector and we, we should see uh, a lot of states flourish uh, and power should be much more better with this kind of reform that has happened via this act. So I think uh, in my thoughts, it's a very, very welcome development. And I know the energy electricity sector is, is in excitement at the moment uh, because there's a lot that can happen now across the cities of Nigeria with power. So it's a good one. Well, um, you have talked about being good, but then again, if you look at it, it's uh, cost effective. It's not just a project that can be embarked upon. Uh, just uh, ordinarily, do you think that states uh, have the capacity across the nation, you know, to generate power and also distribute amongst orders? Well, I think it's now, for the states, it's now time for states to get to work. I think states like Lagos and the two states are already starting up with something. Uh, whether you will be able to do it or not, you first need to get the law right um, at the state level. So a lot of states like Lagos who are already ahead with their own policy uh, to see how they can create a market at the state level, they will be way ahead, uh, which is fine. So other states need to go back now to the drawing board to say, look, what do we need to do? Uh, how do we need to begin to create this market and, and work with this law? So there's more work for the states to do now, which is good. When you decentralize the issue of power like this, uh, which this law has done, we should begin to see some improvements. So... Uh, state governors, state governments, uh, state assemblies, they need to now go back to the drawing table and be more strategic uh, uh, with this policy around uh, power for their states. 
Because now uh, there will be no more excuse to say what, what should we have done differently. Because now the law is in your hands. So uh, I think what the, the what states can do uh, depends on how well they put the work into it. Mm. But how is this going to translate in terms of supply, uh, you know, across the country? Uh, well, in terms of supply, there are many ways you need to look at this. Uh, uh, first of all, you need to look at the highlights of it. Uh, for example, the aspects where renewable energy is going to benefit more uh, from all of this, which is a very welcome development. Uh, such solar, wind power, and the rest of them, uh, we, support, we, need, we are looking forward to see how that will improve with this law. So the good part of it from this law is, uh, 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 when, by the time states begin to legislate, uh, we see that this will trickle down in many ways. And particularly, I'm very curious to see how states are going to do well uh, mixing on-grid and off-grid uh, sources of power to be able to perform. The only problem I see, per se, in my own thoughts, is uh, how NEC is really going to handle all of this. And uh, for these those who operate in multiple states, what, what is going to happen now with this law and all of that? So we, 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 should, see, we should see many, many improvements uh, along the line. For renewable energy, that is my excitement for it. Uh, the law assigned by the president now, uh, we allow providers of energy from renewable energy sources, solar and the rest of them, we boost generation costs. And most importantly now, if you generate your own power and it's enough, you can even give back into the, into the grid, which is what people have been asking for. So uh, there's a lot, there's a lot. We are still studying the, the act to see many ways at which uh, this will benefit the sector, but in my thoughts, this is a very welcome development, and the electricity will, will improve in no time. And just quickly before I let you go, uh, you know, over okay. the years, the ability to generate power has been a major challenge, and we've also experienced a collapse of the national grid. But you also have some other persons who would say that uh, generation, power generation is really not the issue. It's the fact that we lack the capacity to transmit what has been generated, even though you can also attest that what has been generated is not enough when you look at the population. Mm. So how will this play out, you know, with mm. this act? Mm. Okay, so the issue of, of generating, I, I, I mean, so with this new law now, what's going to happen basically is at the, at the state level, you now have the mandate to generate to transmit and to also distribute. So how you are able to do this uh, uh, within the framework you create at the state level, we now we now see how you're going to perform. So this implies that electricity generating companies will be mandated to either generate power from renewable energy sources, uh, purchase power generated from renewable energy, or produce any instrument representing renewable energy generating. I mean, so there's a lot you can do. And distribution, which is the issue, uh, I mean, we, we see more often, metering the houses, metering people to be able to uh, measure, I mean, get cost on what the power that they give out. All of this now will boil down to how will the states begin to design their policies, their laws at the state level to decentralize all of these things. So there's a lot of work for the state to, states to do. So look at this law that has been passed, this act that has been passed now. What can we do within our own state to say, look, this is what we want to do. And now you're not going to be sticking to one sources. So this law now allows you to, I mean, incorporate other sources, renewable energy, solar, all of that. How do you bring that? How do you work with the off-grid? So all of this is, it depends on the state, really. So I, I want to see states uh, should already start taking down, the, uh, looking into this law and taking down the key points the high levels and begin to strategize what do we begin to do because now you know one can hold the federal government again for power it means we have to go back to each state will be residing to say look what are the state government doing with power and if there's area there are areas of collaborations and i expect one or two states to come together in area of collaborations so let's see how that will pan out uh, in a couple of more days and we'll begin come back again to join it but generally this is a fantastic law in my opinion and then um, how we utilize this to solve our long-term energy and power issues in the country uh, 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 will, will, will be some, some amazing thing that will happen. So I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Wisdom Chapa Jumbo for being part of the show this evening or the news this evening. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.